Tonight on Grilling with the Guru, what we have got? we got some baby chicken. That's no. some chicken. That's some quail. We're going to have stuffed quail, grilled bok choy. Bok choy. Bok choy. And we already started some uh, some uh, smothered potatoes. Cajun classic. Grilling okay. with the Guru starts right now. Welcome back to the show. Got Kurt, what we got here? I don't know. You tell me. What's that? The, the, the smelling like some smothered potatoes. Smothered potatoes. And what's not? I mean, what's smothered not potatoes with smoked about? sausage. Oh my god. Come goodness. on, come on, come on. Beautiful stuff On right the here. Cajun grill, baby. So let's talk about the rest of it. Yeah. What else what we going to do? Yeah, the little baby chicken. We got some quail. I love quail. Always <laughs> have, always will. Man, where you got that? I got that at Rouse's. You didn't go hunting? No. no. Uh, but they, around Ville Platte, no BB hole. <laughs> around Ville Platte, they have those can hunts. You oh, go yeah. and you shoot, and then when you get back, they already got some for you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you got those, like that. those are good. Uh, and then we're going to grill some bok choy. This is something I've been doing a lot lately at the house. Now this is Japanese, Chinese. So a, a Chinese cabbage, but it Chinese. doesn't it doesn't taste like our cabbage. It's just in the same family uh, uh, as a plant. It has a real light flavor. But I was telling you before, you can blanch this if you want, but you don't have to. We're going to split them in half, and as this grills, these these uh, leaves are going to char up a little bit. So is it ball? Mmm, way. Well, we did this with uh, Michelle Izel on a pr prior show, prior like, show three or four years, years ago, ago. Years ago, uh, with the the tsunamis Tsuna and uh, bok choy. We bok like saying choy that. It's, bok choy is it's fun. <laughs> and this is where we're gonna stuff oh, those quail with. Okay, you gotta tell them about this. Yeah. So listen, if if y'all in Scott and y'all go to the Piggly Wiggly, you can get something called Darby sausage. Now, Mr. Darby right. used to have a sausage kitchen years ago. He doesn't have the kitchen anymore, but he works at uh, at Piggly, Piggly Wiggly. Wiggly. And he makes sausage for Piggly Wiggly, and, and he makes Darby long. sausage. That's right. All right? So I'm hunting around for some Darby sausage uh, before the show earlier today, and I said, uh, You knew I'm you wanted to stuff it with I knew I wanted to stuff it with a fresh sausage. Right. So I looked down, and I saw chicken, spinach, feta. What? In a pack. That's coming in the basket. There ain't no way. It's like they knew we were having this show. It ain't getting out alive. Before you yeah, got there. It ain't getting out alive. There yeah. ain't no so way. Can you imagine spinach, which I love? With the feta cheese and the ground chicken. Yes. With your Louisiana love season. Yep. I mean, sprinkled over that. Now, how are we going to do this? We're going to grill them. We're going to grill them. Then we're going to make a, we're going to put them in a pot and we're going to make we're us gonna, a little sauce. Kind of like brown them a little, little sauce, bit, let yeah. the skin get a little crispy, and then we're going to make a little sauce. Hey, speaking of that, we'd like to thank uh, Gilroy's Greatest Foods, the makers of Louisiana love, for sponsoring this episode and every episode of Grilling with the Guru. And the more love, the better. Spread the love, baby. Spread, spread the, the love. love. We was in Lake Charles uh, this weekend. Oh, Lord, we spread a bunch of love. Yeah. It was awesome. We had a great reception. You, they, bought, they bought everything you had. And Al some. Almost. I, I, was, I had to <laughs> wash my tablecloths, make sure they wouldn't buy that. But look, that's good. Good. That's why we went. So the lemons and the garlic, that's all going to go? That's all going to go into building our sauce, making it all taste good. That's right. Um, so we're going to get right to it. I'll tell you what, let's take a little break. Take a little break. We're going to clean this up, and we'll they come back. They want to take a break because they got to go get refresh their little their uh, beverage. Sure. That's right. Top your beverage off. Go to the restroom. Yeah, but make sure you don't you don't leave because you want to come back. These stuff, quail. Now, we did. Two minutes. That's another thing we did. We did with Ron Guidry. Ron Guidry came stuff on the show. quail. My man. <laughs> and he did he did the stuffed quail and made it in a pan and we did like a sauce and right. we made a little rice and gravy. Right, right, so right. So Ron, no offense, we do is doing it a different way. We love you, brother. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. No he got a, Ron. He's got a new book come out. Huh? Oh yeah. yeah he's so, been yeah. signing some autographs. Yeah, uh, right. I think it's Congrats. called Gator. Yeah. That Gator. So check that out. Check oh, that yeah. out for Ron. But yeah, so this is gonna be a little different, a little a little more upscale. Hmm, we're gonna put our nose in the air, a little upscale, <laughs> yes. Well, but you know we're gonna make it. Ron's right. down and dirty. No, no, yeah, he's yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He, he's throwing sinkers. <laughs> so hey. y'all don't go nowhere, you guys. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show, guys. That's Keith. I'm Kurt. That's Quail. <laughs> some little quail, baby. All right. So, hey, if you just joined us, we're going to do some some stuffed quail that we're going to grill. Then we're going to make a little sauce with it. Yeah, we're going to put it in a black iron skillet and put that on the Cajun grill and let it go. We're going to make it happy it gave its life for us. <laughs> That's right. But, uh, but, hey, some things we have to consider when we're doing quail. Quail, while it's a poultry, if you, you get in here, Matt, you could see the skin, a lot of fat, the huh? skin is paper thin. 
and underneath the skin, there's meat, there's no fat. There's no fat. So we have to, you have to be real careful. You have to guard against it drying out. So, so how do you do that? <laughs> What's that? You put some butter. So, and you don't just put regular butter. You put some seasoned butter. Seasoned with what? Some uh, Louisiana or love. <laughs> Louisiana or love. <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So look, this is a real complicated process. You just, <laughs> you let some butter come to room temperature so it's soft. You sprinkle it with a little seasoning. You mix uh -huh. it around. Uh -huh. Then you take your quail. And the first thing you want to do is just kind of separate the skin from the breast, right? Just like but that. But like you said, it's real thin. It's real thin. So yeah, don't get crazy. Yeah, don't get don't crazy. Don't get crazy. And hopefully uh, you ain't got sausage fingers like me and Kurt. I'm just yeah. That's some them quail. How you gonna do that? Them quail, are, they, they're crying. <laughs> Please don't. So look, I'll show you a technique. Instead of trying to run it all the way up there, you put a little bit in, and you just run it. You just use your thumb. Just run it up there, okay? It doesn't take a lot, guys, because we're going to fill the cavity with some chicken, spinach, feta, Darby's sausage. And it has a little bit of fat in there. Yeah, I, I think it has a little, a little bit, bit, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Now, so, I'm, I'm, I'm going ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and dice up these uh mince up these garlic i'm uh -huh. gonna put that in the smother potato which by the way yes <laughs> it's already done yeah 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 yes yeah we started up i said I, I said man let's start those potatoes early so we don't have to wait that long for them yeah well they almost done so. <laughs> they almost done and they smell incredible oh yeah listen you can make if you can't make a, a meal out of just uh smothered potatoes there's something wrong with you because that is good 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 it make them Irish people proud, bro. Taking the potatoes and it's making true. something so delicious. It's like true. That. It's true. And then we're gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna do some grilled bok choy. Bok choy. Bok choy, uh, which uh, is a little Chinese cabbage that uh, has a, a. It doesn't have a real prominent flavor. It doesn't have a real cabbage flavor like you may be thinking. But uh, once you put a little seasoning on it and a little oil, and grill it up, it really is a nice dish to grill. It chars up well, and it just tastes really good. So we're gonna do that. How them potatoes look? <laughs> You heard the sound effect. It looks. They're doing good. what they're supposed to do. Oh my goodness! Look at the color of that. That's just. And we guys, we just seasoned it as we went. We tasted a little bit of it, and we seasoned it with Louisiana Love, which doesn't have a lot of sodium. No. So we added actually a little bit of kosher salt, just to kind of give it a little bit more sodium. But look, that right there is ready to go. But. We're not putting any more liquid in it. We're gonna let the pot get hot on the bottom, and we want it to have that little bit of grimon. The oh yeah, oh yeah. We want we want it we want it to stick a little bit, and that's you gotta be. That's the that's the balancing act when it comes to smothered potatoes. Okay, yep. you want it to stick, but you don't want it to, to burn. burn. Yeah. And that starch is gonna be right on the edge there. That's right. So you gotta be real careful when it comes to that. Yeah, and um, so if you're drinking any adult beverages and you're grilling all this stuff, you know, you might want to set an egg timer. Yeah, yeah, so you, you might lose track of time. Yeah, because the next thing you know, you're gonna have burnt smothered potatoes. You're gonna have not smothered potatoes. You're gonna have burnt and you're gonna potatoes. Have some ma mad family members. Boy, can you imagine burning a pot like that? My mom would not be happy. Well, you know, and if you if you're from a family like mine that's just blatantly honest, they're gonna tell you it's bad. Yeah. Some people would say, "Oh no, daddy, that's pretty good. It's okay," and then they turn their head and they go, "Yeah." No, we don't do that. We uh, <laughs> we say uh, why you? We're gonna ask you a question. Why you mess up them potatoes? <laughs> You're not cooking no more for me. Yeah, stop that. Stop that. So guys, you can see what uh, Keith's doing. Some uh, some green onions that we're gonna use a little later for the sauce. And I'm just I'm just putting some of that sausage stuffing right in the cavity. Okay. So and how much do you want to? How much to stuff it? Listen, you want it just enough to fill it. You don't want to go crazy with it because here's the thing. The sausage, this is raw sausage, it has to cook inside the cavity. So if we cook this forever, it's gonna, the, the, the meat's gonna get real dry and it's gonna fall apart and all that stuff. You sounded just like Ron. How, how, much, how much do you stuff? Oh, about like that. About like that. <laughs> look, look like in the back that. of my shirt. Yeah, about that much. About that much. Yeah. You put about that much in and it'll be fine. So this is, uh, uh, the, the hardest part of this dish is the prep work. Which? It's actually not that much. Oh no, it ain't not hard. that hard. It ain't hard at all. It's almost kind of like kind of fun, like when me and Ron did. It's like playing in the mud. It's a know? little little therapeutic. You yeah, call that? It's yeah. therapeutic. Better than painting your house. Yeah, you been. <laughs> yeah, I heard you getting a job with Sharon don't Williams. My, don't tell my wife I said that. <laughs> I heard you getting a the job There's with. There's a lot of things I like and a lot of things I dislike. And let me tell you, I'd rather dig a ditch. 
and what, take a, a, a belt with him what a, then put a paintbrush in my hand for three hours and paint a house, I can tell you that. You know they make sprayers, but you I know that. You, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love so you. That's like, looking good. Yeah. And look at that plump that is. Oh, yeah. It fills them up. Yeah. So if you would get a little bit of uh, oil, please, sir. Yes, sir. Right there in back of you. Gotcha. And uh, Got you covered. I sprinkle them a little bit, and then we're going to season them a little bit. All right. And then we're going to put them on the grill a little bit. Come sa, come sa. All right. Hey, we're going to take a little break, guys. Yeah, let's do so that. So we're going to continue doing this. We're going to get the quail on the grill, and then we're going to keep uh, nursing those smothered potatoes. Which? Make them nice and yummy, and then when we come back, so then when we come back, we're gonna start to build our. Uh, we're gonna uh, take our quail, put them into the, start making our sauce for the quail. We're gonna put them in the pan, and then we're gonna work on uh, our little bok choy. Bok choy. Bok choy. Everybody so, say it one time. Bok choy. Bok choy. Yeah. Don't go nowhere. Come back, see us, guys. It's gonna be good. Welcome back to the show, guys. Kurt, why? The quail are on the Cajun grill. Cajun come on grill. in. Come on in. Y'all come see this. Beautiful. I mean, you could smell the smoke coming off that. Oh, yeah. It wasn't, oh, yeah. It wasn't oh, wood yeah. fire. It was that butter. Yeah, the dripping, butter hitting the fire. off of the uh, quail. Look at that. And released beautifully. Look at how, mm, boy, boy. Nice little browning going on there. That's, Couple of lines. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Now, remember, guys, we're not, we're not, Fully cooking the quail here. We just want to perfume it. We just want to mark it up. And get a little bit of smoke get on it. Get a little bit of smoke on it. We've got one left, bro. Oh, no, I flipped that one earlier. Oh, did you? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, let me try it again. Do it again. We'll do it do again. Do it some more. And so, look, but, tell them about the leftovers. Well, yeah, so we had some of that some of that uh, beautiful chicken uh, feta spinach uh, sausage left. He said, let me see that. <laughs> He made, nothing he made three patties. Oh, yeah. I said, man, you can make some burgers, but they said, well, then let's make some. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got some little. The chicken burgers going on. Like yeah, that. boy, that's With pretty. That feta? Wow, Get wow, off me, man. that's gonna be good. You stealing that next show? <laughs> we have to take it. That's right. Uh, All right. So uh, this pan right here is gonna be for uh, the quail. For the quail. So I need a little bit of oil, oil. please, sir. You got it. And we're going to put some in there and let it get nice and hot. And then we're going to talk about the bok choy. Then we're going to come back. Bok choy. Bok choy. And, and some other potatoes about done. See, I'm yeah, gonna, yeah, I'm they, pull yeah that they, off. They, they, they're done. They're done. Look at that, y'all. If y'all could smell, if there was smell of this, you could smell and the listen. garlic and another and thing, sausage. The, the beauty of a well-seasoned black iron skillet, that now potatoes stick like it ain't nobody's business. They're yeah. sliding right out of there. Look at that. That's, that's, <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. Which that's is nice. What you want? What more you want, boy? All right. All right, we're taking that off. So, it's so all right. So, look, look, this is how we do our bok choy, right? Let me grab another hand right here. So, they come three in a bundle, and this is how they look in the individual. It's just a little, and they grow, if you've never seen a full size bok choy, kompsa, it's about that bigger, tall. Yeah. yeah, the leaves get a much, but these are, these are good. They li they're a little sweet. So, look, real simple. Just split them. That's it. Look at that. That's it. That's all That's you so want to do. It is. It's like a, uh, looks like one of them, uh, what they call them, Jewish candle arbors? A menorah. menorah. Looks like a menorah like that. Like that. All right. So, boom. Drizzle it with a little oil. Get it a little oil. And then you're going to toss them around. So, um, get some on the leaves too, please. There we go. Just like that. Beautiful. There you go. Okay. And look, go look. I, you know, go light with the seasoning because you could always add, but this is such a delicate ve vegetable, you don't want to go, because that's all you're going to taste. Oh, yeah. Okay? No, you want to taste the actual so <coughs> flavor of the, the veggie. Real, real easy. You're awesome. just going to toss them like this. Make sure you get oil on both sides, and you're going to start them cut side down, right? And you want to put the leaves away from your fire. Your fire's here. You want to put the leaves away from your fire. The reason why is these are going to cook pretty quick, and they're going to start to burn pretty quick. This is going to take a little while. This takes about five to six minutes for the bulbs to get soft. <clears throat> but you can't have it over a super hot fire because everything will get out, get out of hand. So just toss them around like that a little bit. Got seasoning on all sides. I got room on the grill, Mr. Gidry. You ready to go, babe. All right. And here we go. I right, made you some room. Right there. So you, I, I think you were saying a moderate to low fire? Yep. 
just like that on a Cajun grill you have that flexibility yeah and you have it like towards the front which is actually a little bit cooler area than directly over the, the ember bed that's right that's right yep. so uh we could we could put that in there if you You're want ready to go yep I think we're ready to go let me wash uh, my bok choy hands here we're gonna place these nice cast iron little little shallow skillet. skillet that's right that's right we're not doing anything fancy. We just want to brown them up a little bit, and we're going to introduce some wine. And we're going to make us a little sauce. And we got some butter that we're going to finish that off with. So I'm going to jack up the heat. A little bit, yeah, there directly you go. Directly over there. Again, the bok choy. Is off to the side. That's right. So uh, that's it. That We still got them chicken burgers working. Chicken burgers? Man, look at that. Look how beautiful. Chicken burgers are working. And that was just line up. We weren't expecting that. No. But hey, well, we roll with the punches. That's too. right. That's right. Just we show keep up. Keep swinging. Show up with a grocery bag. See what happens. Yeah, we just. Gonna keep <laughs> and, I saw, <laughs> and I saw. And all your groceries over there. That's right. French bread. That's right. I just <laughs> happened to having to bring. But that's for something else. But yeah. it's not that we couldn't use it here. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so all look, right, guys. There we go. So uh, we got a. Uh, we're gonna build a sauce. Uh, whenever y'all come back, finish up our bok choy. Mm -hmm. Might have a chicken burger. You never know. Or a little sample. Or at least a little piece yeah, of it. Jump, jump. So hey. Don't go nowhere. Yeah. You don't want to miss this. And we got oh. those beautiful smothered potatoes. Good night. Make Come mama on back. proud. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. Hey, guys, look at this, what we got. <laughs> look, you see look the show could be over right now. Oh, I'll tell you what. If this isn't like <sighs> the epitome of a Cajun dish. Yeah, listen, in the dictionary on the comfort food Cajun, they got a picture of that, right? there. Smothered potatoes. And, and look, that now, hey, I, and I didn't all. tell you, I use California gold potatoes. I saw that. And the reason why I use California gold is because they have, in, in the potato world, they have a medium starch content, right. which is going to be plenty enough to brown. Is it but, sweeter? It's, it has a buttery flavor, Butter. a natural, and you see that when you cut them, they're yellow inside. They have right. a natural buttery flavor. Well, it worked. So, <laughs> hey, come see what's over here. All right, come check this out. Oh, listen to that. Crackle, crackle, pop, pop. Listen to that. that. So, look. Right. Oh, right. oh. We got a little Maillard going right there. Yeah, in. oh, yeah. Uncle Maillard done paid us a visit. Look at this, y'all. Okay, so. If you're just joining us, shame on you. So he wants to dance to y'all. Um, these are some uh, quail that we stuffed with some beautiful chicken, feta, and uh, spinach sausage. Yeah. We grilled them a little bit. We did. And then we uh, put them in this pan, this beautiful black iron skillet with a little olive oil, and we browned them. So now we're going to do this. We're going to introduce a little red wine. Now what kind of red wine would you use? This, uh, you got to use a dry, right? Dry. So you're going to use a Cabernet, a Merlot, Something that that has a dry. You could use a sweet like a Madeira or something like that, but uh, yeah. I, to me it doesn't translate that well. Right. So, so we're gonna let this we're gonna let this reduce. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just kind of move them around yeah, a little just bit. Just a little bit. Make sure. There we go. I'll break them up. Well, I didn't I want any uh, to stick. So just like that. And look, we got a some little baby. Bacho some what? Bacho some bachoy. They. Uh, I'm sure the. Uh, the Asian League are going to be contacting us any time now for making fun of but uh they're probably going to say you saying it perfectly yeah, <laughs> yeah okay so all right if you remember we put the bulbs on the fire and the leaves away and you can see the leaves are getting they're drying out don't don't knock that off yeah, don't don't don't, don't, don't knock that off don't and knock don't that think that's a bad thing no no that's a good thing yeah. and, and if they get a little darker than that we'll be okay too that's fine yeah see that's matter of fact I'm gonna give them a little turn Oh yeah, look at that. Look how beautiful. That's absolutely exactly what you want. Get in there, take get a good tight shot of that in there. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna leave them on, on the back side, on the round side, for about two or three minutes, and then they will be done. Okay? So So we got the quail gone. So the quail are gone and they stuffed with the sausage. We have now a beautiful yeah. and the but the sausage that we stuffed in there, the outside is going to probably cook a little bit faster because not a lot of meat on the quail. You want to make sure that that's the, correct. the chicken on the inside. Yes. Would you check it with a thermometer? I would, that would be a good If you're not sure, let's, get, let's close this. Yes. If you're not sure that, um, that that 
the chicken on the inside is done, please use a meat thermometer. Yeah. Okay? Because, look, we eat a lot of rare things on this show, and we tell you to eat a lot of rare things. Chicken ain't one of them. Chicken ain't one of them. <laughs> and uh, the quail, I'm not worried about the quail. The no. quail's going to be cooked. It's right. going to be done. I'm oh, not yeah. worried about it. That, but that anytime you stuff, it's the Thanksgiving syndrome, right? right. You got to make sure the middle of that's done. So, and that's another good reason to introduce it into a wet cooking environment like this. Because it'll cook all the way through. Yep. If we would have grilled them all the way out, I'd probably wanted to do something like wrap them in bacon or, or prosciutto or something like that, which, Ooh. listen, it wouldn't have been bad. That's another show. That's a whole other show. Stay tuned for <laughs> uh, bacon wrap quail. Um, but, yeah. And look, we got to look. Got a little. There's no leftovers on this show. No, guys. no, no, no. We had a no, nice no. little. No. Actually, there were three patties. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, what would you do? I, you know. <laughs> Uh, two of them even uh, left. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to use a little lemon in our sauce, right? A little citrus. And Yep. Yeah. And uh, so, so, guys, we use quail, but another thing you could use, let's say you don't want quail, you don't like quail, I uh, don't know why you wouldn't like quail, uh, Cornish hen. Cornish hen. Cornish hen would be, I love Cornish hen. But Cornish hen, just like the quail, Cornish hen is very breast heavy, right? Mm. So when waiting for that breast to cook, you you run the risk of drying out the rest of it. What about squab? Squab would be great, but squab, you, it's hard to go past medium rare. It's such a tough bird. So you would have to grill it and then and then smother it. Okay, I, I just, I can't, I, I, I don't know if y'all know what squab is, but that's a pigeon. pigeon. Oh. I don't know. Oh, I could. I have. You have? You it, got into that? It's good a lot. <laughs> it's good a lot? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's like eating a medium red duck breast. Well, I know, but you know? it's like, I, I got teal. Over hey, you want to do some? Teal. teal. Get you some little teal. Now that we're talking. You got, you got some I'm little. all over that. Yeah, you got you some little teal in the freezer. Mm. Bring them over here and we'll show you what to yeah, do. Like that and bacon. <laughs> oh, oh, and that, or oh, do what we're doing right here. Make them squeal like a teal. Oh, wing, yeah. Wing, wing, oh, yeah. Cinnamon wing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. So, so uh, look, you want to throw it to break? Last one. Hey, and then guys. we'll come back. It's a la manger time. Yeah, we're going to have all this set up on plates. And you're gonna see a fit, a beautiful. You're gonna have some green. Oh yeah, we're gonna have green. We got a protein. Yep. The quail. We, and got, we got the starch. starch. It's and gonna, it's gonna be nice. We're gonna make Somebody it pretty have a little French bread. And like, who knows? Uh, <laughs> probably will if I had to guess. <laughs> we got gravy. You gotta dip the bread in the gravy. Come back, see us, baby. Yeah, I'm going to work. Welcome back, guys. Ooh. Look, look at this here. Is Matt. that beautiful, man? I mean, that this that, is gorgeous, y'all. That that's unbelievable. Okay, so so this is a this is a low country dish that we just brought up a little bit on our presentation. So the way we did it, the way we finished it, we had to we put the red wine in the pan, yeah, and then we let it reduce, and then we took some cold, unsalted. Real from the cow butter. We, we, and we also took the, the yeah, we, quail out. Yeah, we took the quail out to give it some room. And you take you take a whisk and you do one pat at a time. Right. And, and you, you just add whip it in. About what, five? Yeah, well, six? I, uh, no, I don't think that much. Probably yeah. about, a, uh, about an ounce. About an ounce of butter. Right. Okay, so you whip it in and that creates an emulsion and it gets you this beautiful, beautiful sauce that you have here. I told y'all we're going to make some garlic bread. Well, uh, you know what they say. If you got a gravy, you got to have bread. So, uh, Y'all can continue to talk. Yeah, it's time to bon appetit, man. Oh, I love quail. I love quail so much. I can't tell you how much I love quail. Mm. Mm. Oh my! It is. Look, y'all, and look. You hear that crisp? Uh, the bok choy. Yeah. Mm. Those little crispy pieces. That is just divine. And with that sauce dripping down that. Yeah, because the bok choy leaves when they dry like that, they get a little bitter. You see, that's it. That's exactly how you do it. Just like that. Mm. That's good, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Man, I love that. I'm going to give me a little bit of the stuffing on the inside. Is this rude? I mean, we're just eating in front of y'all. They knew that when they tuned in. I know. I got a little thaw right Oh, and look, guys. This is incredible. Mm. So, mm. in real time. You tried the stuffing? Yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. Mm. In real time, this took 45 minutes from start to finish. Mm. In real time. Okay, so look. Now how much? Um, let's see. The quail were the most expensive, at about uh, four and a half a pound. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm into this dish about 35 bucks, you know, so. Yeah. Which ain't bad, you can feed what? No, well we have three more quail. I know. So you could, you could feed three, four people off of this with the potatoes and everything and those seven. wonderful, wonderful potatoes. So look, thank you for joining us on this episode of Grilling with the Guru. Make your next meal your best meal. We want to thank Gilroy's Greatest Foods for providing us with all this wonderful stuff right here. And the love. And the love. Oh, we put the love. We use a little extra love on this one. You kind of get it in the back of your throat. Mm -hmm. We will see you next time.